You wouldn't believe how complex it is to build a BMW engine. It all starts with lightweight aluminum alloy. These blocks you're looking at? That's the raw metal. Workers use forklifts to load piles of aluminum into a furnace. It heats up to around 1500 degrees Fahrenheit, melting the metal down. Then the molten aluminum gets poured into a huge container. While that's happening, the factory preps the sand molds. They're made from a mix of bentonite sand, glue, and hardener. This type of sand can take the heat from liquid metal, but only once per mold. After shaping, robotic arms smooth the mold and check for defect. Now it's time to pour. Molten aluminum flows into the mold from the bottom. Once it cools and takes shape, it's moved along. A crane lifts the mold to a workbench and workers knock off leftover sand with hammers. Then a 3D scanner checks the engine block. The piston holes are machined smooth and workers inspect everything with flashlights. Next, the pistons and connecting rods go in. A robotic arm drops in the crankshaft. A crane sets the cylinder head in place and bolts lock it down. Then they fire it up remotely to test the power at different speeds and gather key data. And once everything checks out, the finished engine heads to the main assembly line. That's how a BMW engine gets built. Like what you saw? Hit that like and follow. See you next time.